What is up guys, I figured I was going to combine two very requested and popular series into one. Namely, we're going to be doing a solo queue to master. I'm going to be covering the rest of this on stream. Or rather, we're going to be doing the rest of the climb on stream. But basically, uh, at the, around the start of every rank, I'm going to be playing off stream and kind of just go through my decision making with you guys in, in you know, after the fact. Obviously, I'm in bronze four. You can't actually see that. It says predator lobby is in the top right and my camera is on. It wasn't supposed to be. This was supposed to be just a full no camera, no overlay video or VOD. Uh, but I realized about <laughs> around the middle of the VOD that wait a minute, this is this is a mistake. So the reason I chose uh, Octane here instead of Horizon is because Horizon is just she's a really good solo queue carry legend. She has good outplay potential. But I think that Octane, in most cases, has more of a use. To make things fair, I did not warm up. You'll be seeing some scuff movement. You'll be seeing some... Yeah, a few moments of like these are gonna be there. Um, but yeah, basically, I didn't warm up to make things slightly fair. So the aim's a bit scuffed, movement's a bit scuffed. Uh, I was going for a bit of a... Like, on these towers specifically, you can bounce off the side. You'll land a lot faster. I wanted to beat the enemies to the punch. Also around this time, I noticed that, wait a minute, we have the wrong uh, color on the iron side. I'm supposed to have green. I haven't touched this account for many, many weeks. Or months, even. And if you guys don't know, I also have... Um, I don't have any pay to win skins. I don't have the R9 pay to win skin. I don't have the wingman. Uh, it's basically all default skins. So, uh, goes without saying that I'm extremely far from a team at this moment. I'm making a very big ego push. Once again, it's in bronze. I'm not really <laughs> thinking too much about it. Still trying to be a little bit careful about, you know, what's going on around me. Not running too head first into two teams fighting. I knew two teams were dropping here. So I knew, knew I could go for this. Anyways, I make the push here. I'll look for, a, you know, as a distracted play to cover. Look for some free picks as they're, you know, literally looking the other way. They're not paying attention. You gotta punish that. <laughs> it's that simple. Uh, I dropped my armor here just to kind of reset real fast. Uh, and have a quick swap if they would drop. I wasn't really fully in it here, but I felt like there was could be more people. There wasn't. It says it's, it's just, as you can see, there was no other people here. I wanted to get a high kill game, high damage game, high action game to show you guys bronze lobbies. I didn't want to play uh, too passively, too strategic, because that's also a thing in these lobbies. You don't actually want to play strategically. Uh, for example, if you employ pro level strats of you know looting, landing, looting, rotating early into the end zone. You're the only team doing this, and you're gonna have very little loot uh, as you're holding a position, not really amassing more loot and such, and you will just end up getting yourself caught uh, and rolled by a full squad, maybe with all red armors and better loot and such. Uh, a little bit more ego peeking with the wingman. Figured why not we're in bronze. Uh, I knew my team was gonna come, that's also why I left the car before and took that jump pad. So now they're here, we're ready to fight, spot the jump pad. And normally here, I would probably look for some poke damage to go in, but I figured they seem pretty distracted. I might be able to catch someone off court, and uh, I do. Life goes down after a little bit of... Let's take a quick 1v1, playing this ego uh, peeking it or pushing it because I know it's low, quick hot swap that I spotted. Now I don't know what the hell is going on because it was an ash queue from God knows where, but it's two squads. Very solid heady on the rampart and cleanup. Uh, I figured it was an old tear. I wasn't exactly sure, and I felt like it hurts me on the right, but it wasn't really anything. But yeah, the dropship made me made clear that this was probably an ultimate made to either push or go for a rest, because there had been a fight around this area. So I decided, all right, we're gonna go head first once again. Super far from a team, they're probably 10 seconds, if not more, behind. But I see the guy's teammates uh, run off, one of them at least, run off to the right. And I decide to push them down, or sorry, the respawn guy, because he's not going to have good loot. Some decent shots. Turns out he has a P20 and the blue armor, but I know he's still pretty under looted. So I take the push. Does not work out as I wanted it. But once again, you know, I have the advantage of playing an Octane. Allows me to really just W key and Ego. Uh, I also heard some steps on the left before, and suddenly another... Our bloodhound is here. Weapons, you know, quick hot swap. My teammates are fighting the other squad. I'm just dealing with the bloodhound, cleaning up, stabilizing a little bit. Uh, really good scan from my bloodhound, just kind of giving me the info so I knew exactly what decision to make, and then we can keep going. Uh, 
kind of just balancing my inventory, trying to get a good read of what's going on. I noticed two squads. There's uh, one solo and a duo. Get the lifeline here. I just gotta figure out what's happening. Once again, these are bronze lobbies, uh, so that means that it's gonna be very... They will get messy. It's basically like pubs in some cases. Sometimes it gets very sweaty and slow, and other times it just is a lot of W key for partying and such. So I am aware that things might pop off very soon. My inventory management is pretty fine, though. I would probably pick up some grenades here. Don't need to carry that many. And yeah, there we go. I do it just that. Now we're kind of just waiting. We're kind of an, at the edge of zone. There's not too much to do at the moment. I did hear some shots. So I'm trying to move forward here and see if I can catch someone off guard looting. I already have max KP at this point. Uh, now it's mostly about, okay, well, I want to get more kills. I caught this guy, did a nice headshot, feeling confident, took the push. He was as confused as I am. <laughs> it was a solo, so it worked out. Uh, that was a solo from the squad we fought earlier in Hammond. Anyway, so then it's time to go for the third party. Uh, we notice a fight on edge of zone, shouldn't be anyone fighting. I uh, hear that they are now underneath. I drop along the edge to kind of like lower the drop lag. Quick ending of the, or rather quick disabling of the caustic barrel. I don't know what the hell Rafe was doing. She just ran for the feeder. I'll just clean that up. Switch to basically empty armor. Still gave me some. Send it on a Gibraltar. As with most things in Apex, especially like when you know you're playing against weaker opponents, you just gotta keep holding W key, uh, ego pushing or whatnot. Because the thing is, when you're fighting a weaker opponent, they're not very confident. And you can abuse that. They will make mistakes. Uh, by the virtue of them not being confident. So you you want to just really push your luck as much as possible. If you feel like they won't beam you, jump in their face. And they're like they're obviously going to miss because they're not skilled, but they're also going to probably choke their shots because they just cannot deal with that type of aggression. Some more awkward movement. Have to come in and have my teammates. Take the one run, push it forward. Again, I get the advantage, so I should really push that. I figured I could try and use my... Uh, Jump pad to knock the Gibraltar out of the way. Did not work using my Q to quickly reset backwards. There was no point in protecting my teammates because I didn't have any health myself. And I knew I could just re-engage and go for the duo, which I won. But it was fairly close. That could have gone poorly. We're still very central normally. But at the same time, we're at the edge of zone because it's the end of the circle. So I feel like we have time to kind of just heal up. I sort of look around, not standing right next to my teammates because there are very exposed. If I were Rampart, I'd probably put like a few walls down just to make it a little bit of a safer position. I take some extra time to go through my inventory, maybe look for nades, manage it a little bit. For the sake of this video, actually, normally I don't care this much, especially in uh, lower end lobbies. But I was thinking that, hey, why not? We want to, we're gonna give some <laughs> insight into how a predator would think in these lobbies. So obviously that's too much light ammo. Uh, maybe a little bit too many batteries. As usual, you can't go wrong with grenades, especially with a big inventory like a purple or rather a gold. Most bronze players don't really, like actually most, even in diamond, most people don't pick up grenades. This is where I saw something at the edge of my, in the corner of my eye. And I had to just go and like check it out. And so I myself, but there he is right there. Now, I thought it was in the window, because it was a strange place to stand, but no. Unless they were just standing open. He's just kind of moving forward and holding W and mouse one of the devotion. Figured I could probably ego peek that. It worked out. I see the guy over there. Do some good crack damage. Jump pad in for the finish. Clean up with R99. Normally, I would run a shotgun with this combo, but I was just feeling for the R99 today. So that's what we did. Now, logically, there wouldn't be any more teams now. We, we clean everyone else, and then I see the Ramper gets beamed. <laughs> uh, it seemed very nonsensical to me. It was, again, I guess it's the bronze lobbies coming out, but uh, had to turn real quick. I saw the Ash ran, she got scanned, and she ulted, meaning she can only go north. That is the only direction she could have gone, so I know exactly where to you know find a portal, and she can far off. There you go. We got a 4k damage and 19 bomb at this point, so the 20 is basically guaranteed, assuming we get a win. Yeah, I don't really pay too much attention. It's sort of just idly running forward, trying to get info, trying to get positioning. And it turns out they were waiting for me, because he's right there. And, uh... <laughs> here comes... <laughs> the craziest barrage of grenades I've ever seen in ranked 
from one person. I don't know if his entire inventory was just filled with grenades, but it got crazy. I got some good entry damage. Looking for a way to maybe push that myself. Normally, you would try to calm this with your team and go with your team, but that's not happening. Anyways, I got entry damage, and I put a jump pad down. He ults me, and that's my cue. I go for the flank and know there's a rock over here, so I made a jump pad. I didn't really jump it as well as I wanted to. Taking a few ego shots here. This is a really important thing. So I shot the Revenant twice and know his ultimate is about to go out. So I actually wait for the ultimate timer to go out. That means that when he goes down, he's not going to go down in shadow form. And instead, he only has 100 shield. I deal that 100 damage and knock him. Then I just go for the fuse, a few whiff shots, because I was being so good about myself. With the Revenant <laughs> kill. And then just basically easy pick his on fuse. The ranks are shattered. They were just not expecting that jump pad play. And now we're just chasing the last member of the roster. Yeah, I, just, I just pushed that. That's a 1v3. Normally, maybe you would want to wait a little bit for your teammates. But they're like, they're right there. I didn't check. I knew, like, okay, I'll go for it. A few more embarrassing shots. Let's I'll talk about those. But let's talk about this jump pad real quick. Because that was... This is a good rotation that is actually lined up on Olympus. But, you know... Just free balled it, no problem. That's just who I am. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, you want to see more content like this, make sure to hit the like button, let me know in the comments, and of course, subscribe so you don't miss the next upload. I was thinking we're going to be uploading ones of, one of these a week. Uh, just me narrating my gameplay during this whole uh, grind. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all tomorrow. Peace out.